Um, here's update. Remove the service bracket or whatever it is, that thing. It didn't take me that long. An hour and this was all disassembled. I dropped tons of oil. I just... I messed it up. Anyways. Um, you can see here that the leak came from the seal. Landed here and then it leaked all the way down here. And, uh, and you can see there is oil there too and look how far in the seal is that's not where it's supposed to be so that's the reason why it's leaking i ordered the seals the brand new ones mitsubishi original they're supposed to be 0 0.5 millimeters in from the surface of the of the head so that must be half inch in <laughs> and this one it's not leaking, but I'm going to replace it anyways because I'm pretty sure that one is too far in two. So I bought two seals, so I'm going to replace both. Put it in uh, top dead center, and then I will remove the camshafts. I need to pin the tensioner first before because otherwise the tension is going to shoot out too far. I think I have to do that, but anyways, I've and it doesn't matter. I need to take the tension off. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's update. Um, I'm supposed to get the seals tomorrow. And maybe tomorrow I can put them on. And tomorrow assemble the whole engine and put it all together. But so far that's the only leak. There's no more leaks anywhere. So yeah. So that's... That's update. It didn't took that long it's more the mess that I made than anything else so yeah uh, here's the leak again uh, I got the new seals these are ori original seals I will show you here this is the part number and I think I sorry I can't do this with one, with one hand hand sorry um, I think I did a bit I don't know I don't remember and I don't do editing but Let's see if I can zoom in this thing. It's hard for the phone to focus for some reason. Come on. Here, focus. Oh my god. Technology, what the heck is wrong? Oh, there. You, so you see th this seal has a, a kind of like a bevel in both ends. Well, the seals I bought, the ones that are still in the cam, are different. And I was told, or I, I read, that that bevel shape at the end is basically, this is 0 0.5 millimeters. So basically, right where that bevel ends, from the surface of the cam, of the, of the, of the um, head, that's how much, basically, you will push the seal in. Just that little bit. So, actually, I think that that's a millimeter. So, half a millimeter is just the beginning of it. So, yeah, you need to measure it anyway. So, with a caliper. So, it goes there. And the other one, as you can see, is super deep in. That's bad. This one is not leaking. But this one has that, that wheel for the um, sensors. So, you can't see it. So, I'm going to proceed with... Uh, Put it in top the center, or we, I will align the marks. I will zip tie these things, and I will pull the. My idea was that I was going to pull this guy in until I can put the pin in back in. But the pin hole is right here, and this guy has a. I will have to remove the crash of pulley, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to. I don't know put something here to hold it that's going to be hard I, I don't know what I'm going to do there but I need to hold the tensioner so it doesn't open all the way I think I have to do that I think so oh there's a metal there look at that where's that come from coming from huh you guys see that there's like shavings of metal here oh that could be paint actually I think that those are metal shavings. That's silver paint as possible. That it comes out of, of the bolts. 
when you tie them up um so yeah so i i'm going to see what i'm going to do with this tensioner here i don't know because the pin will be very useful because right there but it can't reach it and uh, i mean i may maybe i can take this one out this one out this one out and see if i can move it a little bit but the pin is right in the, the edge so and i don't want to put this pulley out i can reach it from here there is one bolt there like right there so it's right behind it so it's too hard i think i'm going to just do something maybe put a piece of the problem is that the sensor is right there so it's all here it's all and uh, I don't want to take this out because if I want to put it on top of the center I need to see down there where is the mark I have no idea where is the mark ah uh, yeah yeah what I'm going to do that's a good point I'm going to align these marks and put the zip ties and that's about it I'm not going to remove the crankshaft yeah I took the first oil seal and I could not believe what I saw RTV in the seal only here you see that I just cannot understand how this hood here look at it come on you Please, can you focus? Jeez, right there. Come on. Nope. Oh, sorry, guys. This there. I guess that's better. Oh my, this is terrible. This phone is there. You see that? There and here. I don't understand why there is nothing there. But this was facing this way, and that's where the leak was, I think. So, yeah, I mean, that will... Look at the gap. It's huge. Oh, man, I cannot believe this. So I guess that, that was the whole problem. And, and inside here, there's not a bit of RTV there. And the, they said to put RTV here and all that, so I did that, you know. If, for the inside and the, the engine hasn't run for so many like a month or even more two months so you know the rtv is dry so that means that i put this rtv here somehow i do not understand that will explain the whole thing but i wanted to show you something i will leave that seal there this is the original one this is the mitsubishi one and they are actually different if you look at them one right beside the other. You see that? You see the bevel and the shape? They're different. So, and this is thicker than that one. So, lesson learned. Don't use aftermarket ones. Although the other one didn't leak at all. It's clean. Uh, but still, I'm going to change it. So, anyhow, I just wanted to show you that because I was like, I was ultra surprised to see this. That this is, this is not me. I never do this. I can't. I'm guessing that maybe when I put the seal, there was RTB on the surface. I cannot understand how this got here. And this is stick to the seal. And I don't remember putting RTB on the seal because of, I never do. I mean, you put the seals dry. And this is stick to this. So, yeah maybe my hands or the gloves were had a RTV but yeah. well there's no leaks and now it's here so I'm moving from there uh, can barely see there to here I drove a little bit um, it runs it, ri uh, it runs really well um, there there's no leaks it runs very smooth I will, uh, I will make a make a demonstration okay. super smooth 
there is that heezing noise that I don't know where it's coming from and I don't know if that was normal it sounds like air on the power steering but I have checked and it seems fine no bubbles coming out of it but it's, it's around here I don't know why it makes a noise I was looking at it but I mean it runs fine so yeah it's running really well no leaks um, I'm going to leave it running for like half an hour now and the coolant let's see it's no pressure now um, it's, it's kind of low, I need to refill it now again. But uh, there is no bubbles. 